Hey everyone, this is Rosie, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to thread, wind the bobbin, and thread the needle on the Juki TL2010Q. So let's get started. You're going to start by making sure that your thread mast is pulled up all of the way. And then you're going to see right down over here, there are two spool pins that you can put your thread on. The one here over on the right has a little cone on it that you would use with your cone threads. Now if you are not using a cone thread or you don't want this little piece down here, you can just simply twist it off. If you're using a spool of thread that looks like this, you can just put it on one of the pins and then there's actually a cap that will also go on to secure it down. I mostly use this type of spool and I just simply place it on there and I've never had any trouble with it sitting just like that. So to start threading, you're going to pull your thread up and you're going to hook it in this little U shape right here on the mast. Now if I'm using the left spool, I use the little U shape on the left and if I'm using the right spool, I will use the little U shape on the right. And then after that, we're going to pull the thread down and we are now going to be threading from this part of the machine. The first thing that we're going to do is thread through these holes. We're going to thread through the first hole and the third hole. So I just place it in the first hole and then I wrap it back to the top and then I thread it again through the third hole. And then the next step would be to put it through this pretensioner right here. You have these tension discs right here. They separate. You want to make sure that when you lay your thread in, it goes in between those two discs. Okay, and now we're going to come down and thread through the main tension. Now we're going to thread through the main tensioner, which is right here. This tensioner also has two discs, and you want to lay your thread in between those two discs. In order to do that, your press -a foot needs to be up. When the press -a foot comes down, it pushes those two discs together tightly, and that's what gives you the tension on your thread. So for now, we want the press -a foot to be up. I like to just hold my thread and then I pull it through the tension discs, I pull it around and then I go back and I catch it in the check spring. And I'll know that it's caught in the check spring if the check spring is moving up and down with the thread. Then you go under this guide here and then you want to thread in this guide right here and all you need to do is pull it and it will go right into place. And now we're going to go up to the take-up lever. The take-up lever is here and there is a little slot right in here and all you need to do is take your thread and pull it into that slot and it will fall right into place. Then you come down again with your thread and you snap back into that same guide again. Then you'll move down towards the needle and we're going to thread through this little guide right here. Again, it'll just fall right into place. And then there's another little pigtail wire right back here. You want to go in that little U shape on the pigtail wire. And now we're ready to thread the needle. So here we are over by the needle threader. And to work a little bit easier with the needle threader, you should put your press of foot down. Then to engage the needle threader, we're going to pull down this tab right here. And you'll see that there is a little piece of metal right here. We want that thread to go under that piece of metal. And then we're going to pull it all the way over to the right. And when we do, on this white piece, there's a little slot. You want your thread to go into that little slot and then you release and it gives you a loop. 
Now I just want to say a couple of things about the needle threader because I know that a lot of people have trouble with it. When we pull this down, there is a little pin in between these two metal pieces. There's a piece here and a piece here. And right in between there is a pin. And that pin needs to go through the eye of the needle. And when you pull your thread under here and through the white slot, that pin catches your thread and that's what pulls it through the needle. Now, there are two things that you need to make sure of when you do this. One is you need to make sure that your needle is in the right position. So if you hit your needle up down key, let it go down and then come back up, it puts the needle in the correct position for threading. So you don't want to turn your hand wheel to position your needle. Use your needle up down key. Then the other thing that you need to make sure of is that that pin is right in the center of those two middle pieces that I just pointed out to you. Now it's not easy to see the pin, at least it isn't for me, but if you take a magnifying glass you will see if the pin is in the middle. If your threader is not threading properly, it could be because your pin is a little bit bent. So you can take a very small screwdriver and just coax that pin or bend that pin back into position and just be very gentle when you do that. I have had it happen to me where my pin was bent and I just repositioned it and then my threader worked fine again. And I think that the bent pin is the biggest problem that people are having with their needle threader not working properly. So that's it, and now we'll move on to bobbin winding. To wind the bobbin, you want to have your thread come up over the mast just the way you did before and go in the guide on the mast. And then you're going to bring your thread over here and you'll be going through this guide. Now, there is a little slot under here you want your thread to go under here. You'll bring it around the front like that and then it's going to go under this thread here. Okay, so basically your thread is coming in the slot this way, it's going around the back and coming out underneath this thread. Then you'll take your bobbin which is right here and there's a little slot or a hole in the bobbin. You want to take your thread and put it in that little slot in the bobbin. So it's coming out the top. So there it is coming out the top of the bobbin right there. And then you want to put it on this post over here and if you give it a little spin it will fall down into place. Okay? And then once it's on there properly, you'll push this lever in towards the bobbin. You'll hold the thread and then step on your foot controller. And it will automatically start winding. And then once it's wound a bit, you can just clip this off and then finish winding. And when it's done, it will actually stop automatically. We're at the side of the machine right now, and we're going to open up the little door that gives you access to the bobbin case area. So right here is your bobbin case, and you'll see that there's this little lever right here. It opens and closes, and the little lever, the point of it is pointing at this little notch right above the screwdriver. That's the proper position for your bobbin case to be in when it's in the sewing machine. Now, to get the bobbin case out, you're going to open up the little lever. And I don't recommend doing it with a screwdriver. I'm just doing that way so my hands don't get in the way. And then you're going to take the lever and pull the bobbin case straight out. Now that the bobbin case is out, I want you to notice that when the latch is open, if you hold on to it, the bobbin will not fall out. But if the latch is closed, the bobbin will just fall right out of there. Okay? So now, <clears throat> to thread it, 
You first want to look at the check spring in there. Make sure that there's no dust or lint or anything caught in there. You can brush it out. Sometimes you may need to take a little pin and pick out the lint. Try not to take out your check spring. They're very hard to get back in. So what we're going to do is we want the um, to thread the bobbin back into the bobbin case. You want your thread to be coming off to the right side here, just like this. <clears throat> And then you're going to turn your bobbin over and you're going to place the bobbin right into the bobbin case. And right here, there's a little slit. You want to pull the thread into that slit and then you want to pull it under this spring right here. And then it should be able to pull freely. And now we're just going to put it back into the machine. So we're ready to place the bobbin case back into the machine. We're going to place it right onto the post right there. So the hole in the center of your bobbin there, that is going to go on the post. So open up the lever. And then you can take it and place it on that post. Okay and we're going to shut the lever and as I said before that the point of that lever should be pointing to the notch and then you can close the door get the thread in there close the door and then you can pull up the thread with your needle and that's basically it so I hope that this has been helpful to you please like and subscribe